Right. So I've been talking about Sony and I've been talking about the Switch for some time now. And I thought it was about time I got back to talking about the Xbox. There's been some rumours going around over the last couple of weeks about the Xbox Scorpio and specifically looking at games and also with the arrival of Beam on the Xbox this week for most users and with it arriving on PC soon, I thought I'd like to talk about that a little bit and about the Scorpio and its capabilities and what we might expect, certainly specifically in relation to things like video capture and streaming. Now, I've already spoken about this a little bit with Grant and Sully on the Average Gamer podcast. Whether we'll see that or not, I don't know, because we had some technical issues on that one, so I'm relying on Sully to do some uh, magic with the editing. But nevertheless, we did hash it out a little bit, and it helped me clarify my thoughts. Now, those guys may disagree with me slightly as regards what I'm going to say here, but nevertheless, I would like to thank them for helping me get this straight in my head. So thanks, guys, for that. But obviously, first things first, what I need to talk about is Beam itself and what it actually is. And basically, the long and the short of it is that it's a Twitch competitor. And we're going to get things like tournaments and arenas integrated into clubs and looking for groups. And that could, and I'm speculating here, give opportunities for things like closed group competitions and also marketing possibilities with prizes and linked product placement and stuff like that. And the reason I mention that is because we weren't sure how Microsoft would monetize this and make money out of it. And we weren't sure how streamers themselves were going to make money out of it. But I think there are some real opportunities there for Microsoft to make money themselves and also allow people to be professional streamers. And I think in a way, what I'm talking about here may be more interesting to professional streamers who are looking to make an income on Beam. And one of the reasons for that is to do with 4K. And I'll get to that in a little while. Now, obviously, we know that the Scorpio is going to give the opportunity to be able to play games at 4K. And many of those games are looking to be native 4K. And we've had Aaron Greenberg tweeting over the last week or so about how good games like Star Wars Battlefront 2 look on the system. And, you know, it does look like they are, as I say, going to be running in native 4K, which will be pretty impressive. So out of that, there's been some speculation, and I'll put a link into a story I read on 4K News, I think it was, that was looking at perhaps the ability of the Scorpio to capture and maybe even stream at 4K. Now, when we were talking about this on the Average Gamer podcast, we all basically scoffed at it. And like I say, I've had a little while to think about it a little bit more since then. And I'm not so sure it's so far-fetched. Now I've had time to think about it a little bit more. Firstly, with capture. I think that given the specs of the Scorpio, I don't actually think it's so far-fetched to see it being able to capture in 4K. And I think that would be a good marketing point for the product as well. I think if you can push the product out and say to all you guys out there who are going to be doing things like YouTube, you don't need an external capture card. You can actually capture in 4K and upload straight to YouTube or the platform of your choice from the console. I think that would be a big selling point. Everybody and their uncle and pet parrot these days likes to upload to YouTube. And, you know, if you can do that in 4K, that's going to look pretty good. Obviously, there are some logistical issues there, most notably how slow it is to upload anything to YouTube. But nevertheless, if you're prepared to sit on your hands for a bit, and in my case, make a cup of tea, have me lunch, go for a walk, speak to the neighbours, and then come back and then do all the same again the next day while you're waiting for it to upload, then it's a distinct possibility that that may well be a capability for the console. And, you know, I, I, I am starting to come round to the idea that that is going to happen. And it would fall in line with this idea that the Scorpio is going to sort of operate in this area between console and PC. It's almost like a cut down more easily used version of a PC. And after all, let's face it, 
These consoles now are pretty much PCs with a controller that you sit at in front of your television. So I think what they're trying to do with the Scorpio is give us this halfway point between a console and a high-end PC. And giving us the option to capture in 4K, I think fits in well with that idea. And as I said before, let's be honest, it would be a huge selling point. Now, the other thing, obviously, is this idea of being able to stream in 4K. And that, on the face of it, doesn't look so likely. And I think for people like me and any of the other ordinary people out there who would be looking at streaming, I think streaming at 4K with the bandwidth available to us is, well, basically out of the question. I don't think many of us have got the ability or the bandwidth to stream in 4K. I just don't think that's a possibility. Certainly not yet. Maybe in a few years' time when the bandwidth is improved, we might be able to do it then. But not at the moment. But, and this is the thing that struck me today, what about professional esports? Professional esports are growing massively. And some of these events are huge. They get a lot of money spent on them. And the infrastructure is there. The ability of these organisations to stream in 4K is there. And let's be honest, many of us already watch programmes in 4K. You've got Sky in the UK broadcasts football and various other things in 4K. You've got Netflix putting out stuff in 4K. Amazon Prime Video putting stuff out in 4K. So many of us can receive streams in 4K now. So if you've got a professional eSport system set up through Beam or maybe other systems that can provide a 4K stream for people with the bandwidth to download it, and we're talking about downloading it here rather than uploading it, and that's a different picture, then I actually think that this might be a possibility. And with Microsoft trying to push into the esports arena in this way, I think pushing Beam and pushing 4K, I think it could be a big deal for them. So from a consumer perspective, you know, it only requires Microsoft to invest in decent infrastructure, and it's pretty much there already for Microsoft, let's be honest. And they also have to utilize efficient compression techniques. So we get, you know, similar picture quality to something like Netflix and Amazon and, and Sky and, and people like that. As I said before, most of us simply wouldn't be able to stream in 4K. But the professionals aren't in the same boat as us. And it would be you know, a big pull for, for people who are interested in watching esports to be able to watch them in 4K. And I, I don't know, I've got this suspicion, this niggling idea that this is what Microsoft are looking at. And if this is where they are going, then you can bet your bottom dollar that Twitch and YouTube and other people will be eyeing this carefully and looking to go in the same direction. And as I say, it is speculation. This could be complete nonsense. But, you know, I, I do. I think that this is possible. And I think we have to distinguish between ordinary Joes like me uploading or, or streaming and the professional guys. And I think if you're looking to push professional esports into a bigger arena, then this is going to be the way to go. Microsoft aren't a small company. They've got the money and the resources to fund this. And I think it could happen. And I also think that with their infrastructure and the fact that their first party games lend themselves more to esports than, say, Sony's, who are on the whole more narrative driven, I think it's a pretty sensible move for them. I don't think it's such a huge risk, although I do think it is a risky strategy to take. Whether we do see 4K streaming or even capture on Beam and on the Scorpio in, in the near future remains to be seen. But it will be coming eventually. You can bet on that. And I wouldn't be at all surprised to see Microsoft leading the way. But what do you guys think? Do you think I'm plucking ideas out my backside? <laughs> or do you think that I'm making a good case here? Obviously, as I keep saying, this is speculation, but it's interesting speculation. And we should know maybe at E3, maybe by the end of the year, what Microsoft are planning in this area. 
So anyway, let me know in the comments what you think. Do you think this is likely? Do you think Twitch and Sony and other people might be following suit? And <laughs> do you think we'll be seeing 4K capture and 4K streaming on the Scorpio? Right, anyway, that's me done. And I'm going to get myself a cup of tea and I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Bye.